morning, everyone. Clint here from Oakland Iron Outdoors. Today I'm with my buddy, Jim O'Leary, and we are out walleye fishing today. We're doing some spring walleye fishing. So why don't you stay tuned and we're gonna see what we can put in this boat today. I tried to pin it. I tried to pin it. This guy up in here. Alright folks, so one thing I want to show you at home here, you know, is that a lot of these walleyes, what they do when they want to get on these baits is they pin them to the uh, to the floor. But what they do is they get over the top of it and they take that jaw and they pound down on it and then they pin it. So technically this isn't really uh, legally caught, I meaning I couldn't keep this fish because it's not uh, within the mouth. Um, so we're gonna let this guy go, and we're, we're throwing everything back today. But uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys that on how walleyes uh, pin these jigs. So let's get this guy back. Good man, Jim. Nice. Oh, that's a beauty, Jim. Beautiful fish. Nice fish, Jim. Getting away on you. <laughs> white fish there you go white fish man
You never know what you're gonna catch out here. Look at that. Nice white fish, Jimmy O. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Did your players go in the water? Yep, it was in my net. Oh, that's all right. No big deal. I got. Oh, that's a nice fish, Jim. Nice fish, Jim. Good job, buddy. There you go. There he is. There we go. Ooh. This is a nice fish here. Very nice. All right, let's get the scoop on it. Oh yeah, there we go. This just never gets old, folks. This never gets old. That's a nice fish. We just have to really downsize again. That's the key here. Less hair, take some of that hair off that jig and then put in that smaller minnow on it. That's been the key here today. So, gonna put this guy back. How deep? Oh. Yep. Oh, it's a nice one too. That is a nice fish. There you go. Good job, buddy. Good job. Nope. That one. Nope. There's one. Right over here. Oh, pinned it. Oh, yeah. Where's the lens? <laughs> I don't it's right here. Okay. Hey. Ah, oh, that's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish too. Oh, that's a big one. That's probably my biggest today. Well, Jim, we uh, we did a we hammered them today. Had a pretty good day. Can't complain. No, no, can never complain when you have days like today. You know, and one of the things I want to mention real quick um, in regards to what we utilized today, um, where the hair jig, the hair jig really uh, outshined, I think, everything else. Um, and one thing I really want to mention real quick about the hair jigs is that if you go with the hair jigs, okay, we have the longer ones. This is how they come, and I always shorten them up. Um, I cut some hair are off the ends of them. Um, we're probably only maybe at two inches max here. And then I also like to thin them out a little bit. And for whatever reason, that just seems to make a big, big difference, all right? So, you know, that's a little something, uh, a little trick that you guys can do uh, at home when you head out walleye fishing. You know, and the other thing too was everything had to be vertical today. 
Um, you had to be vertical. Uh, if you tried casting down river and, and pulled it up slowly, um, or even if we just lost our ability to be vertical, that made a big difference and we didn't catch fish. Those lines had to be absolutely vertical and that, that was huge. So, mm -hmm. All right, folks, if you don't mind, please hit that subscribe button and Jim and myself. Until next time, from Oak and Iron Outdoors, we'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Have a great one.